Good News Incheon Church and Good News Gwangmyeong Church held Grouch's choir concerts on the 25th and 28th respectively, inviting Pastor Ox apart. In particular, high-ranking officials from the Ministry of Public Service of Kenya, the Ministry of Public Service and Management, and the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Arts of Zambia attended and enjoyed the performances together with citizens. The Birdsong Children's Choir and the Grouch's Choir presented colorful and splendid performances suitable for summer nights, and world-renowned violinist Chingis Osmanov also performed. Pastor Ak Su Park, the lecturer, preached the gospel of God who forgives our sins and justifies us, saying that we must be of one mind with God. Each church expressed their feelings that they were happy to be able to preach the gospel at the same time as a high-level concert. On the 25th, 10 high-ranking officials from Kenya's Ministry of Public Service and Zambia's Civil Servants, Management Department, and Youth Sports and Arts Department visited Korea to complete the Mind Education course. The delegations from each country that arrived on the 25th held an initiation ceremony at the Suanui F Education Center on the 26th and then began the full-scale training process. Each hour, Education Committee members gave lectures, followed by discussions based on the contents of the lectures, and presentations were made to prepare countermeasures and plans for the direction of education. The educated public officials agreed that mind education is not only essential, but must be applied especially if you are in a position to lead a country. The Good News Jenju Church, Yonkian Church, and Seongbuk Church had Bible seminars. Jenju Church invited Pastor Park Hai Jin from the 25th to the 28th, Yonkian Church invited Pastor Shim Hong Siop for two days on the 23rd and 24th, and Seongbuk Church invited Pastor Lee Jun Ji as a lecturer for a Bible seminar on the 26th. Members from each region distributed leaflets and religious books, conducted individual evangelism, and decorated the Bible seminar with various performances such as piano and salt performances and choirs. The lecturer, Pastor Hyun Park, conveyed God's love for us through words about Ruth, and Pastor Hongseep Shim, who testified of the life he has lived, conveyed God's love that led them to live a happy life as evangelists. Also, educational evangelist Lee Jun Ji preached about eternal atonement. Each church gave glory to God, saying that many people were saved through this Bible seminar. Happy News Gimshin Church Pastor Sun Kyuno visited Puerto Rico from June 25th to 27th. On the 25th, the president of Puerto Rico's largest pastors group, Pastor Evan Helica Minstro preached the gospel at Sanagel Church, and on the 26th and 27th, a meeting with the pastor and the speaker of the National Assembly, and the gospel to the Korean War veterans, told. In the evening, we held a Bible seminar at Casa de Hubilo Church in San Juan, the capital city. The members of the Good News San Juan Church in Puerto Rico shared their feelings of gratitude by preaching the gospel to more than 1,000 people through this outreach trip. On the 29th, there was a MU signing ceremony with the OEF Paraguay branch and the Paraguay Ministry of Education and Science. The Paraguay branch has signed Moose on Mind Education with visiting elementary, middle and high schools and Mind Education with major universities in Ascension. The Paraguay branch has revealed that it will carry out a practical Mind Education project with the government in the future. The OEF Teacher Workshop for the 2023 OEF World Camp was held at the OEF Suen Center on the 30th. 300 teachers, including ministers, wives, and saints from all over the country attended. Starting from 8.30 a.m., there was a Bible reading followed by hymns, prayers, and a message from Pastor Ak Su Park, founder of Fair. Pastor Ak Su Park shared the heart of God who delights in preaching the gospel through the teachers, and in the afternoon each team discussed the World Camp. The 2023 IWF World Camp will be held from July 16th. Good news from Eswatini on the 23rd, Manzini Church signed in Mu with the Church Association of Swaziland, one of the denominations representing Eswatini. Bishop Magongo, the president of the Swaziland Church Association, attended the 2020 DeKelf Conference and Seoul Bible Seminar, heard the gospel preached by Pastor Oxa Park, and was convinced of salvation. The Mu signing ceremony was attended by Pastor Bush Kunin, the head of the Anglican Church, who is the General Secretary of the Association, and signed the agreement. The 7th Kenya Mahaneum College graduation ceremony was held on the 27th. 
At this graduation ceremony, 226 students graduated, and in particular, about 30 distinguished guests, including Nairobi City Councilors, the President, and the Secretary General of the Office of the First Lady, graced the occasion. An event by students majoring in fashion, design and beauty was splendidly decorated for the graduation ceremony, and missionary Johan Kim of Nairobi Church gave a mind lecture. Kenya Mahanaim College said they were grateful that the power of the gospel was spread widely through the graduates. On June 27 and 28, Myanmar Good News Yangon Church held a Kelf meeting for 150 pastors of established churches with the theme of the tabernacle. The monthly Kelf conference was even more meaningful as it celebrated its first year this month, with congratulatory remarks from Dr. James Lian Tsai, President of the Acts of the Apostles Theological Seminary, and prayers from Pastor Bora Boba of Union Mission Church in Myanmar. Missionary John Ho Kim preached about the sacrifice for sins in the Old and New Testaments, and the attendees were convinced of salvation. The Yangon Church said they would hold a monthly Kelf conference. Cameron Good News Yon Church held a Bible seminar with the Apath the Choir from the 22nd to the 25th. The Yon Church members were divided into seven regions and took the lead in preparations such as chartering buses and preparing meals. In addition, 97 new believers attended the worship service on the first Sunday after the Bible seminar, filling the chapel. Members of the Yon Church expressed their feelings of joy, saying that the Holy Spirit seminar produced more fruit than ever before. In July, the preparation team for the World Christian Leaders Association Kelf World Conference held in Bizen was held on the 23rd and 24th at Good News Hanbat Church. With about 70 college students and ministers participating as volunteers, various programs such as meetings, readings, and discussions by Kelf departments were held. Kelf Secretary General Pastor Kyu Yun Cho expressed his feelings that the Kelf World Conference would be a blessed and happy one if he were led with God as the king in his heart. On the 23rd, the Korea Connect event, a cultural exchange program between Korea and Rwanda, was held for four weeks at the Kimisagara Youth Center, an organization affiliated with the Ministry of Youth. A total of 400 people attended this event, requested by the Ministry of Youth of Rwanda, and Korean overseas volunteers and Rwanda local volunteers prepared the entire event, from program operation to planning and interpretation, making it a more special event. Rwandan youths who are highly interested in Korean culture through the media, experienced Korean culture at the event, shared Rwandan culture, and listened to mind lectures on the world of the mind, desire, and self-control. The Rwanda branch will continue to provide mind education for youth. On the 25th, a joint outdoor worship service was held by three churches in Uganda, Kampala, Ntinda, and Mukono. About 200 members and their families attended, and there were children's dance performance, Ntinda Church's choir, and Good News Corps' members' performance. During the sermon, a message was sent to step forward with one mind, with the talents God gave. In the afternoon, baptismal ceremonies and recreations were held, and the members had a great time becoming one in the Word. 